Yeah, so they told you z equals to six theta, and then theta is in the first quadrant. And then we're trying to show something is purely imaginary. To show something is purely imaginary, you're trying to express it in terms of a plus b i, and all you need to show just the real part equals to zero. Therefore, it would be purely imaginary. So let's start to simplify this question. Okay. Yeah. So cis theta, we know cis equals to cos. Plus i sine. Okay, so i is the imaginary part. Minus one plus one go with cos theta. So we're just going to quickly write the left hand side. This will just equals to cos theta minus one plus i sine theta, and then cos theta plus one plus i sine theta. Yeah, cos theta has multiple double angle formulas. When we have minus one, we will choose the one with plus. Right. Yeah, we will choose the one with plus. Therefore, we would choose cos theta minus one with one minus two sine squared. So one and one will get cancelled. And if we have cos theta plus one, we would choose this cos squared theta over two minus one. Therefore, minus one plus one they will get cancelled. So I just quickly do a substitution, plug them back in. This would be. One minus two sine squared theta over two minus one plus i, and then the double angle formula for sine is just two sine theta over two and cos theta over two. Yeah, so this is one minus uh, sorry two cos squared theta over two minus one plus one plus i, two sine theta over two. Cos theta over two, and we can see this plus one minus one they all get cancelled, and the leftover terms. Yeah, so once we cancel all the ones, the leftover terms they all have a two, so all the twos get cancelled as well. Yeah, so we're just left with a minus sine squared theta over two plus i sine theta over two cos theta over two, and then the bottom is cos squared theta over two. Plus i sine theta over two, cos theta over two, and there are two different ways we can simplify them. Method one, yeah, just take out common terms. So on the top there is a sine in common, down the bottom there's a cos in common. We'll just take that out first. So we have minus sine theta over two, over cos theta over two, okay. and then we left with. Sine theta over two minus i cos theta over two, and then down the bottom we left with a cos theta over two plus i sine theta over two. Okay. So you can see, uh, when we have a uh, complex numbers down the denominator, we need to multiply it by the complex conjugate to get rid of that. Okay, so just change that minus become plus, uh, change that plus into a minus, cos theta over two minus i sine theta over two. Yeah, multiply the same thing on the top, so we don't change your fraction. Okay, yeah. So sine divided by cos are just minus tangent theta over two. Okay, and then let's have a look at the rest of the fractions. Your denominator. Okay, that's. A plus B I, A minus B I, A squared plus B squared. Right, so just cos squared plus sine squared. And then on the top, okay, you just need to multiply four times. Okay, yeah, one, two, three, and four. Okay, you just need to multiply it four times. So we have sine cos minus I sine squared minus I cos squared, and then minus cos sine. So you can see sine and cos they get cancelled. Okay, yeah, sine and cos get cancelled. And then we have a minus i. They both have a minus i. Minus i multiplied the minus one. Okay. Minus i multiplied by this minus one. This just become i, right? Yeah, you take out the minus i and then multiply with minus one. Minus minus become plus. So that's plus i tangent theta over two, 
And then sine squared plus cos squared over cos squared plus sine squared, they both won, right? And they all get cancelled. So our final answer is 0 plus i tangent theta over 2. And you can clearly see this is pure imaginary. Okay, pure imaginary. Oh, there's an easier way. Okay. Oh, there's an easier way when you factorize this. Let's start from here. Okay, yeah. So the bottom, we do exactly the same thing. We just take a cos theta over 2 out. So when you take a cos theta over 2 out, you realize that the cos theta over 2 plus i sine theta over 2, that just sees theta over 2. Right, that's your numerator, that's your, yeah, so that's the leftover term. And then on the top, okay, so on the top, with what we're going to do is we're just going to take out a sine theta over 2, and then we're going to take out additional i. Yeah, you need to treat this minus sine as i squared, okay. So when you take an i out, you're left with i sine theta over 2, okay. And then when you take out i sine theta over 2, this term just left with a cos theta over 2. Yeah, however, you probably realized this is also cos plus i sine. This is also cis theta over 2. Okay, cis theta over 2, cis theta over 2, they get cancelled. We're just left with i sine divided by cos tangent theta over 2. Okay, yeah, you can see both methods give you exactly the same answer.